Nitro Kid 98 here today, guys. We're going to be talking about a very commonly done mod. Um, and a lot of times, this is actually one of the first mods most people will do to a car, and is a throttle body. They will upgrade the size of their throttle body. Um, we're going to talk about kind of the pros and cons of doing that, situations where you need to do it, situations where you don't, um, and um, things that normally need to be done in order to run a throttle body. Um, it will vary upon application. The specific application we're talking about today, if you've seen my channel, is the 95 through 990 Eclipse non-turbo 420A. Um, we actually have two throttle bodies here for that specific application. Um, now, this also, I do believe, will go the same for the uh, 95 through 99 Dodge Neon because these throttle bodies will fit them as well. So the modifications you have to do to run this one to actually get a full effect out of it is kind of going to work the same way for that one. Now, what we have here on the to the right is a stock Eclipse throttle body. On the outer diameter, it is a 52 millimeter, roughly. And on the inside, if you can see this little taper here, I don't know if I can get in there to see that taper. There's actually a taper on that throttle body right there. You can see that little ring. It actually lowers to a 48 millimeter. Now, this is a modern performance throttle body. It is a um, 60 millimeter all the way through. Um, absolutely great throttle body. Wonderful throttle body. Um, a really good addition to a performance build. But on our application and a lot of other applications, the problem with running a bigger throttle body such as that is you're going to run into the intake manifold not being the right size to support that. And we're going to show you that here now. We have this intake manifold, which is actually a factory 428 clips manifold. And we'll sit that down, even with those bolt holes. And I'm going to open this throttle plate. As you see, there is access intake manifold there. It needs to be bored out. You can see the difference just looking beside it right here of the intake port for the intake manifold versus the port for the modern performance throttle body. A lot of cars cannot just factory or not just accept a bigger throttle body factory. It's going to need some modifications to the intake manifold. So therefore, it actually does not help to run that bigger throttle body for the intake manifold port is not big enough to really make a difference because even though you have a 50 or I'm sorry a 60 millimeter throttle body if you only got a 52 uh, bore on your intake manifold you're only going to get a 52 uh, millimeter flow that's all you're going to do you can actually slow the air down with where that access is hanging behind the throttle body can actually have the air impact it and start causing problems of basically slowing the air down there um, in that situation if you're going to do it like that no more than eye candy or nothing like that. You're probably better off just sticking with this one. Um, the, the, the real need for a throttle bodies like that is when you get like a really big turbo that's really pushing some air and you want to keep, you know, uh, keep it flowing a little bit better and where this one's starting to restrict it where you're not boosting where you should be, um, this one right here will help support that extra airflow. Um, you know, bigger cams and stuff like that. Things that need more air is when you need to start upgrading to a throttle body like that. Um, the factory throttle body, honestly, through almost, uh, as far as I know, the 420 application, that throttle body I've had on a couple different setups, and I've really, I don't know that I've ever maxed it out as far as flow. I don't know that I have. Um, I, I really don't. Uh, the modern performance throttle body is great and all. I'm actually selling that one right there just for the fact that I haven't really found a great need for it. Um, I like it and all, but... Uh, we actually got a 55 millimeter throttle body on the car now. It's bored out with the intake manifold, and it's plenty. Um, but uh, the good thing about aftermarket throttle bodies, you will have some like this one comes with a uh, little auto control, kind of controls where the throttle sits. So you can kind of um, modify that a little bit there. It's actually missing the idle air control valve. I had a adjustable sitting in it temporarily. Um, but um, that's pretty much, guys. The, the throttle body situation it don't get me wrong if you're putting on there just for looks and you really don't care about performance it's a great modification you know some engine bays are all eye candy and that's great if that's what you're into that's what you're into you know to each their own um as far as i'm concerned i'm into it for, for performance so I always look for the thing that gives me the max performance um sometimes bigger can actually harm you more i don't know in the throttle body situation if you put all the the stuff to handle it that would 
be it, but um, it could be. Um, anyways, guys, this has been Nitro Kid 98. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget, guys, check out the Nitro Kid 98 Facebook page. Nitro Kid 98 on Facebook.